Hello, this is Matt with 3G Store, and today we're going to look at the outbound policy management on the Peplink Balance routers. As you can see, I've got a Peplink Balance 20 set up, the cable connection run into WAN 1, as well as the 3G modem for the failover. Now what we're going to do today is configure an outbound policy. As you can see, I'm currently connected via WAN 1 with the mobile internet in hot standby, which means the moment the WAN connection goes down, it fails over to the 3G connection. So if I go over to the network interface, we're going to go ahead and click on the outbound policy. Now, as you can see, I have a few roles created here. One for my main workstation, which you could simulate as your mission critical devices, the PBX phone, uh, as well as the enforced Wi-Fi connection, which maybe that is what you don't need to share if your main connection goes down. So what I'm going to do here is go ahead and open speedtest.net just to show you that I'm operating currently off of my cable connection. And we'll go ahead and begin a test here. Okay, so it looks like the test is beginning here, 28 millisecond ping. It's starting to do the download here. And what I'm going to do is pan out, and here I have my iPhone, which will simulate as the Wi-Fi network. And we're going to assume that the main cable connection is still going. It's going to start a test. So as you can see, the connection is currently being run over the Wi-Fi network, which is connected to the Peplink Balance 20. And what we're going to do is go ahead and enable some outbound policies to configure the failover so the public Wi-Fi network isn't accessible when your primary connection goes down. So here I already have some uh, policies that I've already configured. I'm just going in and enabling them right now. Basically, we're utilizing enforced as well as priority to configure specific IPs that will either work or won't work based off of the connection that is currently active. This policy management can be incredibly beneficial, especially if utilizing a service like our Datajack failover solution, which provides 200 megabytes of data. These settings will ensure that you have your mission critical devices online while other devices off. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect from the primary cable network. And as you can see, I'm instantly greeted with the mobile connection to my 3G Verizon modem. And now that it's connected again, just to prove that I am operating over 3G, I'm just going to go ahead and run another speed test. As you can see, I get 125 millisecond ping. And you'll notice that my download speeds are now on par with the 3G connection. I generally average about one to one and a half down. Now we're going to simulate the public Wi-Fi network. You can still see my iPhone is connected to the same Wi-Fi network. However, with our outbound policy, notice what's happening. The wheel is just spinning. Because I have an enforced policy that states the Wi-Fi will only work over the WAN connection, we're now stopping anybody that doesn't need to access the internet from utilizing your failover bandwidth allotment. When you have this configured properly, this allows you to get the most out of your failover connection and not waste unnecessary bandwidth on devices that aren't mission critical. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and connect back up to the cable connection. Now that'll take a few seconds and until then it's just going to continue operating off of the mobile internet. So let's go ahead and go back over to the iPhone, which is still connected via Wi-Fi. I'm just going to exit out, and we're going to relaunch the program, begin the test. And you'll notice right away, my ping is back, and the download is started without issue. That's because we're running back over the primary connection, which you can clearly see here. And again, this is made possible by the Peplink's outbound policy management. As you can see from my main workstation, which again is simulating a mission critical device, we're using a priority and we have the WAN 1 with WAN mobile internet as the secondary and WAN 2 not in use. And then for the enforced Wi-Fi, essentially what we're saying here is we're enforcing this and it's only using WAN connection 1. So if WAN connection 1 
is not up, it will not access the network. Control like this can only be found on PEP link balance routers.